Okay guys, we're going to make this short and sweet. You don't need a whole bunch of music and drag racing and burnouts. I got a 346 Predator here off of my little backhoe. It was running fine and then it quit and I had no compression at all. So let me tell you what Predator does and what I found out. So check this out. See the way the keeper is? Looks normal, right? But I'll tell you this, check it out. Goes right over it. Goes right over it and out. You don't even have to go down and up. Comes right over and out. But if this is slightly turned, it won't come out so easy. Okay? Which means the elongation is caused by the rocking of this keeper. Isn't that something? When I found it, I found it almost all the way off. So when I was looking at it, it looked like the valve was normal. That's why the valve didn't drop. The valve did not drop because when the keeper was on, it gets kind of jammed holding it up. But it was far enough for it to drop and that's why it didn't drop into the cylinder. Okay, so the push rods come up out of here. You got your rocker in here on the stud, and she rocks, okay? You guys get that part. Now, this keeper, Predator, make sure you're getting it, has this little, tiny, little cap. I don't know if you guys, if it's in focus or not, but it's a little, tiny, little cap, all right? That goes over the valve. Okay, but it goes over the valve after the keeper is on. It goes over the valve under the rocker arm. I don't want to drop it in there again, but I do have my small magnet. Okay. So that's the idea, you get the idea now, it goes on top of the exhaust valve. Now the intake valve does not have a, a cap on the top, only the exhaust valve. Now I don't know about you guys, but I've been working on these things for 50 years. I've never seen a cap on top of a valve. I don't know why, but I can tell you this. This motor's probably got about 100 hours on it. And what I think happened, all the pushing up and down and rocking of this cap on this keeper, it wore through on the bottom. Let me pull it up. I believe that this rocking of this cap on this keeper wore out the metal on the keeper. I don't know if that's the cap's fault or not, but I can tell you I've never seen a keeper fail and I've never seen a cap on an exhaust valve and logic dictates to me that between the two of them this rocking cap the rock slightly now with the rocker she'll rock slightly in there wore out the keeper anyway that's why this motor lost compression it was running fine and then it lost compression because the valve dropped thankfully uh, it didn't go in all the way and come out and get all messed up inside the cylinder so all, I got a new keeper coming. It's from OMB Warehouse. OMB Warehouse. Also, you can find them on eBay. But I'll tell you one thing. There's nobody selling the intake keeper. A couple of people are selling the exhaust keeper only. So that's it. That's what I lost compression. And I got the new keeper coming. I'm going to put it on and uh, it'll run. Okay, that's all.